Ilan pong aplikasyon ng mga Filipino nurse ang hinarang umano ng Manitoba para makapagtrabaho sa probinsya? Pero itinanggi po ito ng Manitoba at tiniyak na patuloy silang kukuha ng mga nurse mula sa Pilipinas. Narito ang report. Daan-daang mga Filipino nurse ang nagtatrabaho ngayon sa Manitoba dahil sa Philippines Recruitment Initiative Program kung saan direktang kumukuha ang probinsya sa Pilipinas. Pero noong Disyembre, inanunsyo ni Manitoba Premier Wab Kenu ang pagtigil sa pagpupondo ng programang ito dahil kaunti lamang anya ang nakukuha. Very few people have come to Manitoba through this program that was announced. And as a result, the cost of paying these folks but also the cost of getting them set up is not something that we're going to have to spend money on this year. We do clearly need more people to work in the healthcare system, but the first step for our government is to get these people into Manitoba. That was not happening under the previous government. Mahigit limang milyong dolyar din ang mababawa sa gastusin ng Manitoba sa pagtigil ng programa. Bagay na ikinadismaya ni Kathleen Cook, ang Shadow Minister for Health ng PC Party. We know the NDP government is on the record saying no workers came over through the Filipino nurse recruitment program. And that's patently untrue. I've met them myself. We also know that the NDP government cut funding to this program without having any plan of their own to train, recruit, or retain healthcare workers no in Manitoba. And of course, we know that we are in a worldwide healthcare staffing crisis. Yeah. And now, as detailed in these documents that I'll table today, we know the NDP are directly blocking more healthcare workers from coming into Manitoba. May impormasyon anyang nakarating sa kanya na ilang job offer sa mga Pilipinong nurse ang kinansela na ng Manitoba government. These nurses have been trying to go through proper channels and were quite deep into the recruitment process, working with Shared Health for months. Uh, and they didn't get anywhere. They're, they They want to come here to work. Manitoba needs every nurse and every healthcare aid that it can get. We have a group of nurses, internationally trained nurses, who are desperate to come here and work in Manitoba, and they're being actively blocked by the current NDP government. Pero sa pahayag na ibinigay sa Omni Filipino nitong linggo ni Nalin Rampersad, ang press secretary to the Minister of Health ng Manitoba, hindi daw nila kinansila ang Philippine Recruitment Initiative Program. Sa katunayan sa huling tala noong March 8, Limamput isang na-recruit ng programa ang nakarating na ng Manitoba. Labing isa rito ang nagtatrabaho na bilang mga nurse, habang apat na po bilang mga healthcare aides. Marami pa anyang parating sa mga susunod na buwan at ikinagagalak nilang pinili ng mga Pinoy nurses ang Manitoba. Inaasahan daw nila na sana'y mas marami pang Filipino nurse ang magtatrabaho sa probinsya. Sa press conference noong Disyembre, sinabi ni Premier Kenu na may ugnaya na ang Manitoba sa ilang healthcare workers sa Pilipinas, pero nais nilang kumuha rin ng nurse sa iba pang bansa. Where we have already developed a relationship with certain potential healthcare workers from the Philippines, we're definitely going to lean in to try and make sure that those folks can make their way to Manitoba. But we're not going to double down on the same approach that the PCs took. We are going to cast a wider net, of course, education and retention are going to be important components of that but we're also going to be looking at uh, other uh, places around the globe where we could potentially be recruiting staff from Pebrero nung isang taon 300 nurses ang kinuha ng Manitoba sa programang ito sinagot ang lahat ng gastos at sa loob lamang ng kalahating taon naging permanent resident na ng Canada